Hi there guys, today we're going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to send a message from a C Sharp script to a Playmaker FSM. To be more specific, we're going to broadcast an event, so we're going to trigger a Playmaker state from a C Sharp script. If you saw my last tutorial, we were triggering different FSMs and scripts Today we're going to do the reverse if you want. <clears throat> so I've set up a dem demo scene here. I've got the standard asset player. I got some boxes. This is a trigger. You can see over here we have trigger checked. This is a red box. This is a blue box. And this is unused right now. It's going to be our C sharp script container eventually. But right now we just have this. I'm going to play test. Our goal is when our player enters the yeah, never mind him running. <laughs> enters the green box, as you can see right here. The blue box should move over into the red. So let's just see. Let's test this one first. Nothing happens, okay? Then this one. Yeah, it worked. And the reason it worked was because we have a Playmaker FSM on this trigger cube so let's check out the fsm basically it's a simple fsm with a wait state and a trigger event when the player enters the trigger go to move box so moving box is a simple i tween move two uh, as you can see we're going to move the game object called blue down there that's just the blue box and we're going to move it over to the blue end position that is actually the red box calls that name okay but before we continue with our c sharp script we need to prepare this fsm to receive a message from a uh, script so we're going to create a new event and we're going to get this msg get this message and it's very important that you use this check mark click usually you will get a pop-up or a warning telling you you are enabling global values and that's fine just click ok or yes over here on the move box i'm just going to right click on it add a global transition and add my new event and you can see it it's adding it above similar to the way the start event is and it's actually going to work just like it however we're going to trigger this from a c sharp script okay so we want to attach our c sharp script to this box so when the player runs into this box he will start the event and move this blue box into the red Right now, nothing happens. So, check this out. As you can see, nothing. So, let's create a new script, C sharp, and let's call this trigger event. Just any name will do. Also, I'm going to click the box or and make sure it's marked as a trigger in the mesh collider. If you're using Pro Builder like me, you can also switch this to trigger. It's not necessary because the C sharp script will override this script. So, with this selected, I'm going to drag my script over into the inspector. So, we have this right here. Now, I'm going to double click the script and I'm using Mono Develop to write my C sharp. First of all, we don't need any of these voids, so let's just get rid of them. First of all, we need to tell Unity we're going to utilize the Playmaker API. So we're going to type using Huton Games Playmaker end line. That will let Unity know that some of the code we're going to write in this script is be going to be related to Playmaker. But it also allows us to access pl Playmaker's actions and functionality directly here in MonoDevelop. So that's pretty cool. Okay. 
We want to trigger the script, uh, sorry, the script by entering this box. So we're going to write a void on trigger. So void on trigger enter. It does what it says. And we're going to take check for collider. You can choose different things here, but collider basically contains things we need. And we're just going to check for name. However, we're not going to utilize the name right now because we don't, it's not really fit for this uh, tutorial. But if you wanted to, you could check if the name is equal to something like play or something. However, we're not going to check if the player name is correct or anything, or is, if it has a tag or something today. We're just going to do the very basic. We want to make sure the thing triggers when the player enters. So we want to broadcast an event from the script to the FSM. And we need to know this name. Well, we do. So we're going to type play mega and yep we are you get some options and we're working with the fsm just like it's called up here so let's just hit enter punctuation and then we want to broadcast you can see you get a lot of actions and basically we just want this one parenthesis abstract and end line there we go in here you want to type this name up here so git and it has to be case sensitive so be careful get this message and that's it i'm going to hit Control s for save i'm just going to move this out of the way i'm letting the script compile as you can see down to the right you can see the circle is rolling rolling we're going back to the scene. I'm just going to hit Control S here as well for saving this entire scene. Going to click this to make sure my script is still attached. Yes, it is. And I'm going to hit play. Voila. You can see it triggered. And if we wanted to, we can click scene while it's running and check this one. You can see. It's the correct one that triggered it. And we could do a additional test by hitting play again, pulling out the game window, switch the other one to Playmaker so you can see it right there. And when I run over to the white box, this one should light up. So let's just see. Yep, perfect. That means we're actually triggering the Playmaker FSM from a C-sharp script using two additional lines. First of all, at using hutongames.playmaker and then simply Playmaker FSM dot broadcast event parenthesis abstract and simply type the name of the global event you want to trigger. It can't be much more simple than that. Thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe. If you need a help or have an idea for a tutorial, don't hesitate to let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.